What's up friends? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. In today's video, I have my much awaited review of the RMS Redimension Hydro Powder Blushes. I have every single shade. I'm going to be doing some swatches for you all, a demo of every shade, telling you what I think about this formula, who I think it is good for, and of course, doing a couple of product comparisons with other popular blushes. So if you guys are maybe in the market for these blushes and want to see me demo these shades, then keep watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Sophia, and this is my channel that focuses on all things beauty and luxury. I do a lot of new makeup, reviews, reviews of luxury, high-end, Sephora brand type of beauty. I do Will I Buy It styles of videos, favorites videos, and I also cover luxury fashion and lifestyle as well. So consider subscribing to my channel. And without further ado, let's get into it. All right, party people, let's talk about these beautiful blushes from RMS. Each of these retails for $35 and they actually are refillable. So you'll see on the site, make sure you're paying attention when you're purchasing them because the full blush is $35, but the refills are $28. So you will save a couple bucks if you purchase the refill. You are getting six grams of product with every single blush, which is a decent amount, just kind of comparing it to other blushes in my collection. You're also getting a very nice 24 month shelf life, which is great. A lot of clean beauty brands, they don't have as long of a shelf life. So I love that. This is a powder product. So we get a little bit more longevity. These are also made in Italy and they have six shades. I'll let you guys know right off the bat, some of the shades I purchased myself and I've had for quite some time. And then the remainder of the shades, I reached out to RMS and asked them if they would consider gifting them to me. And they gifted me the remainder of the shades so that I can do this fun little swatch party and try on for you guys. I also wanna mention right off the bat in the beginning of this video, I do have a coupon code for you all that RMS also kindly gave me. So I'm gonna put that in the description box down below so that you guys can save, I believe it's 20%. So I'll put that down below in case you guys want to pick any of these up and get a discount. Reading off the RMS website, this is described as a buildable blush that doubles as a skin-loving glowy highlighter. It has a luminous finish that lasts all day. It also says that it glides on effortlessly, infusing skin with multi-dimensional life as the bouncy light as air gel blends and builds color. So this is kind of like a baked gelée sort of formula, which is nice because I feel like with these types of products, you do get a little bit more of like a seamless, very airbrushed effect. But you guys will notice when I get into the demo, these are not difficult to pick up with a brush at all. They do have quite a bit of pigment and they're very blendable and buildable depending on if you have a fairer skin tone or a deeper skin tone. Speaking of the formula, it also says here, the sugar derived wet powder technology combines a creamy texture with a long lasting 3D finished. Skin loving ingredients like wild crafted burriti and organic jojoba oils nourish and smooth and I also want to tell you guys that this is talc free. Now let's get into the swatches because I know you guys are waiting for these. First up we have the shade French Rosé. This is described as an innocent pink. There's something really nice and beautiful and fresh about this shade. It looks Really, really nice on fair skin tones. Then we have the shade Mai Tai, which is described as a sunlit citrusy coral. This is the best shade if you are looking for like that peachy, corally sort of summertime glow. It adds a really nice, beautiful warmth to the cheeks that I just love for sort of those spring and summer months. Next, we have the shade Maiden's Blush. This is described as a soft cinnamon sparked with sweet pink. You guys will be able to tell this is the shade that I've used the most. This is the first shade that I purchased and I do use this quite a bit. So you're gonna notice from the images, it is quite well loved. Getting into some of the deeper shades, we have Sangria up next. This is described as a golden spiced ruby rose. Don't be afraid of these deeper shades, friends. We're gonna get into the demo in just a second. I really like the Sangria shade for sort of the summertime. If you want a little more color to the cheeks, if you want more of a standout color that gives warmth and sort of radiance to the cheeks. I think that this one is great for that. Next, we have a pomegranate fizz. This is described as a sunny and effervescent red pink. This definitely has a little bit of a reddy undertone to it, but I actually think it looks a little bit more pinky. When you look at it in the pan, I think a lot of us get intimidated by this shade, but trust me guys, this actually looks like a pretty natural flush. And once again, if you want a little bit more of a pop of color, this is a great shade. And finally, we have the shade Hanky Panky. This is described as a playful iridescent magenta plum. This is such a cool shade. This is probably one of the most unique ones out of the bunch. It looks very 
purple and deep in the pan, but when you swatch it, you do notice, number one, it does have that sort of iridescent look to it, like it says in the description. It has a very interesting shift about it, but also you notice it has a little bit of a neutral base. It's not straight up purple or straight up plum. It almost looks like a nudie purple. This is actually the shade that I'm wearing on my cheeks and on my eyes today. So I wanna call that out. This isn't like a super bright purple. It definitely has a really cool, almost neutral undertone. All right, friends, I hope that those swatches were helpful, but it doesn't stop here. I, of course, have to try these blushes on my cheeks. So next we're gonna get into the demo. I'm gonna show you every single shade swatched on my cheeks so you guys can see what these look like applied to the face and what the finish looks like in natural light, which is how I film all my videos. So let's get into that. friends I hope that those demos were helpful now it is time for me to give you my thoughts give you my review of these blushes what do I think about them I'm going to talk about some comparisons how they stack up up against some other popular blushes that you may already have in your collection starting off with whether or not I like these I absolutely love them one of the reasons why I'm making this video why I took the time to try and collect all the shades is because I love these blushes and I've gotten so many questions about them because I know a lot of you guys have been interested in them you're not sure which shade to pick up. I love all of the shades. I really, really do. I like the formula. I love glowy face products. And so these were definitely made for me. I do think that they have great longevity. I do think that they are very buildable. You might've been able to tell from the demo. You know, if I go in with a very light hand, I can make it look super natural. But if I want more of, I don't know, like a statement cheek, if I want them to pop a little bit more, I can definitely layer this up, which I think is good because you want this range to work for as many skin tones as possible. I find that when I wear these, I don't necessarily need a highlighter. I love highlighters, so a lot of times I will layer a little bit of highlighter right on top, but I think that this is a really fun, really beautiful two-in-one. I also love to wear these on my eyes. I am wearing the shade Hanky Panky on the eyes and also on the cheeks today, just to kind of show you guys how you can really make this a bit of like a monochromatic moment. If you are a minimalist, you don't got a lot of time, you just want to create a really nice, cute look, you can totally put these also on the eyes. I think they look beautiful. In fact, I filmed a video with this same look yesterday. It went live and so many of you were telling me that you love my makeup and you were checking in the description box to see what was on my face. And so it just goes to show it's a very flattering look. It doesn't matter what shade you get. I think they all work on the eyes and also the cheeks. Now, I don't have anything necessarily negative to say about these blushes, but I do think that these aren't necessarily for everybody. If you don't like super glowy products, I don't really recommend recommend picking these up. I'm going to do some comparisons in just a second so you can kind of see what I mean, but these are very illuminating. One of the reasons why I did the swatches outside in the garden was to really show you how shimmery they are if you hold them up to the light. 
And then also I do the demo so you could see how do they look like in sort of this natural light in the most realistic situation possible, not under a kind of like a studio light. I mean, they're very glowy. See the illumination that you get from my cheeks? I don't think that all of my subscribers necessarily like that. Some of you guys like more of a matte texture. Some of you all like something that is maybe a little bit in between matte and super glowy. So if you are very nervous about maybe highlighting texture, I might stay away from these. I don't find that it highlights any kind of texture on my skin even when my skin is very dry but if that is a concern for you or maybe this just isn't your aesthetic that's the biggest call out that I want to make. Now which colors are my favorite? That's a hard question because I think it really depends on the season and on my mood. I think right now my favorite is definitely hanky panky because I don't really have anything like this in my collection. I think it's a very unique shade. Like I said it gives you that sort of very natural purple flush if that makes sense. It still has a really nice neutrality to it. I think that this might be the most universally flattering one out of the entire collection. The color that I use the most is definitely Maiden's Blush because this just goes with everything. If you are focusing more on your eyes for the day, Maiden's Blush is kind of just one of those blushes that I can grab at any time with any look and it's going to look super natural. It's just a very good go-to neutral blush. I think also for spring I'm very much into the French Rosé shade. There's such a beautiful like freshness to it. It reminds me of flowers and cherry blossoms and just a brighter sunnier time. I also think this is a really good shade if a lot of those super bright poppy pinks that are very trendy right now like the Dior Backstage pink blush and there's a bunch of other dupes of that blush. If that's just too much for you, if that's too cotton candy for you and you want something that is a little bit maybe softer and more understated, I think that this is a really good pick for spring. And then the other three shades, the Mai Tai, the Pomegranate Fizz, and the Sangria, I like to wear those more so when I'm thinking about wearing blush as my look. If I want really beautiful, bright, glowing cheeks and I'm gonna put them on my eyes as well, that's kind of when I reach for those shades when I'm feeling a little bit more in that minimalist mood. I'm also more likely to go for those in kind of like the spring and the summer as well and I think that those shades are also super beautiful for those of you out there who have maybe like tanner to deep skin tone. So I just wanted to put that out there because I get so many questions from you guys on what shade to get and so those are sort of my favorites and when I reach for different shades. And finally I am going to show you all a couple of quick comparisons with other blushes in my collection so you guys can sort of see where these fall along the spectrum of maybe glowy to matte. What are these similar to that you might already have? The first blushes I want to talk about are the Gucci blushes. I will link a video down below. I reviewed these blushes when they first came out. I absolutely love them. And I wanna show you guys a comparison here of my favorite shade from the Gucci blushes, which is called Rosy Beige, up against Maiden's Blush. The color here is fairly similar, but I do wanna call out guys that the Gucci blushes, they are not as glowy as the RMS ones. If you're looking for something that is maybe a little bit more subdued, the Gucci ones are great. They are more expensive though. So if you wanna save a little bit of money, I highly recommend the ones from RMS. Some of the shades are a little bit similar, but like I said, the RMS, they're much more glowy and radiant. And if you have a couple of the Gucci ones and you want one from RMS that isn't as duplicative, I would recommend this one, Pomegranate Fizz, or I would recommend Hanky Panky because I do think that this one looks different than the Warm Berry shade from Gucci when it gets onto the cheeks. Next, I wanna show you a comparison up against the Hourglass formula. These are the ambient lighting blushes that they have. I love these blushes, but as you guys can see here, the one from RMS is a lot more pigmented than the Hourglass ones. I think that you get sort of the same vibe in the sense that these blushes are very perfecting on the face and they give that beautiful sort of lit from within glow. But the ones from RMS, 
they have more pigment. So if you always wanted to shop from Hourglass, but you just felt like you weren't getting enough pigment and you wanted more color, then the RMS ones are gonna be great for you. The next comparison I wanna show you is actually the one that I think is the most similar and kind of explains why I love the RMS blushes so much. I have the Orgasm on the Beach palette. This was a limited edition palette. NARS has kind of come out with sort of a similar formula for spring this year. It's like a baked formula. It's not like they're single blushes. It's a very beautiful, very shimmery and airbrushed looking baked formula that I absolutely adore. Well, let me show you the comparison of the NARS versus the RMS. Sure, the colors are slightly different, but I think that the formulas are very, very similar, which makes me super excited because these palettes from NARS, they're always limited edition and you guys can't always get them. And also not everybody wants a blush palette with like five, four, five, six blushes. If you were always curious about that formula or you were interested in that formula, but you could never get the palettes from NARS, then I wanna let you guys know the RMS formula, it is almost exact. It gives a very, very similar finish. I also like to think of these RMS blushes almost like the powder version of the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wands. I'll show you a comparison here. I've got the Light Wands on the top of my hand and then some of the RMS blushes on the bottom of my hand towards the wrist. You're not getting the same sort of creamy effect that you get from the Charlotte Tilbury light wands, but I feel like a lot of the shades are pretty similar. And if you're someone that just doesn't really care for cream products, and maybe you want something that is a bit easier to sort of buff into the skin, if you have trouble getting those cream light wands to look natural on your skin, check out the ones from RMS because I kind of use them in the same way, almost like a super glowy blush highlighter hybrid, if that makes sense. And then finally, for anyone out there that is looking at these and thinking, are you sure these aren't highlighters, Sophia? I do want to show you a comparison with the Chanel Holiday Highlighter from this past year. This is in the shade Or Rose, and then I'm comparing it here with the shade Maiden's Blush from RMS. I just wanted to kind of show you guys, even with a super soft luminizer from Chanel, that looks very much like a highlighter compared to these blushes. So just another comparison to kind of give you an idea of the finish. All right, friends, that is all I have for you guys today. I hope that this video was helpful for you. I love this product and I really wanted the opportunity just to demo all the shades and help you guys figure out if this is something you want to pick up. I'm going to have all of these linked down below where you can purchase them along with anything else that is on my face today. Don't forget, I have that coupon code if you guys want to buy these from the RMS website. All of my links are affiliate links, just so you know. So if this video was helpful and you want to support my channel, shopping through those links is a great way to do so at no additional cost to you. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And with that, friends, I hope that you are having a fantastic day and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye. <music>